Hey everyone, let's cover some advanced features in my What's in My Image script. Welcome to SETI Astro. If you have my repository already loaded in PixInsight, you should already have my latest release. Otherwise, please go to my website, SETIastro.com, to uh, get the standalone zip. Again, it's found under script, SETI Astro's, What's in My Image. You're going to need a properly plate solved uh, image to have a current astrometric solution. I've added quite a number of features since the script first came out. The zoom in and out works now, which is really great. And even uh, the mini preview is tied directly to the, the zoom. So that's a, a big help. If you click advanced search now the whole pane will open up on the right for us where we can select as many or as few object types as you would like to search for by default if none are checked it's going to check everything so let's just say you want to look for emission line stars eclipsing binaries hh objects hydrogen regions etc you make your selections, click Confirm Selections. The console will update with the selected object types. And then, as always, you can shift, click, and drag to draw a circle, and you can go query the defined region. And it's gonna go ahead and query that region. And you can see the different objects that it found. Or, if you really want to be aggressive, you can query the entire image. This may take a, a second depending on what you're actually searching for. And the mini preview will show you now where everything was that it found for your selections. Which will be really helpful, especially if you're, you're zoomed in pretty far and, and you're looking around for those uh, various objects you're looking for. Now not only can you click the marker and it's going to highlight the respective row, you could even double click the marker directly and it'll open uh, the Simbad entry for it. So you don't got to necessarily find the row down here to double click on, you could just double click directly on the marker. If you do want a more detailed search of an area that Simbad just isn't giving you the results you want, so let's say there's some objects in here you, you still want to find. Once you have your selected region, you can go ahead and click Search NED, and that's going to pull up the NASA Extra Galactic Database centered at our point with the radius that's in there. Now this is a very extensive database. So do not be surprised if you get a huge amount of entry points but it will contain pretty much everything you're, you're looking for. And if the built-in PixInsight browser isn't generating enough graphics or whatever, you know, you could always highlight the address bar up top and then open it in your uh, favorite browser of choice and it'll give you the, the better graphical interfaces. I have also included a copy your RAN deck, sometimes it's just better to copy it. I haven't found a way to directly copy to the clipboard yet, but you could just highlight the row here and uh, and copy it. So that way you could just put in your coordinates wherever you uh, are trying to input them. There's also a little wrench icon down here where you can adjust the, uh, the max downloads in your image when you're searching. It's defaulted to 500 in the search area if you are querying the entire image, it will go up to the maximum to try to give you as much uh, in your entire image as possible. As always, you could save the CSV file and that file will also include the long type names. And now as well, if you have queried a whole bunch and, and really wanna see all those different objects, I do have the option to save the annotated image and you can go ahead and uh, save the JPEG. I do recommend raising the compression because text kind of gets a little wonky if you're saving large JPEG files. 
but it's going to go ahead and, and save the whole image uh, put all the markers down for you and all the text and here's the saved jpeg for you uh, it has all the markers and the names for it as always i'm trying to improve the script and i appreciate all the feedback and support from you guys the community as we continue to make it better in the future, I do plan on making an option to save just the cropped region in your preview versus the whole image. Also, various fonts and font sizes, things of that nature, just to pretty it up a little bit more. But the core functionality for searching and trying to identify the objects in your image is really the intent of the script. And I think we're really getting close to just having an amazing script. Please comment, like, and subscribe.